Hello everyone, this is Levi Sheridan, and this is the third video in my investment casting series. Today I will be melting down the aluminum I showed off in my last video, and we will be pouring it into a graphite ingot mold. Before I get started, I want to talk a little bit about safety. So I am not a professional, therefore do not take anything you see in this video as instruction. If you attempt anything you see in this video, you are doing so at your own risk, and I advise you to do it as safely as possible. Personally, I will be wearing leather gloves, eye protection, a 3M P100 mask for organics. I will also be wearing this aluminized apron as well as a pair of jeans, and I have a fire extinguisher on hand. Once again, I am not a professional, so do not take anything you see in this video as instruction. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's get started. So the reason I am melting down this aluminum and pouring it into this mold instead of some other mold out of plaster that I actually want to make apart from is because this aluminum came from a car wheel. And apparently car wheels have some kind of paint on them, as you can see. Some have more than others, but this is not ideal because I don't want to have paint in my parts. And the plan is today to basically melt down this aluminum and have the, the paint burn off so that when I pour the aluminum into this graphite mold, the resulting product will be a piece of aluminum that is more pure than what I currently have. So that when I go to make my castings, the aluminum is in good of a shape as I can possibly have it. So I have gone ahead and picked out some of the smallest pieces of aluminum that seem to have the least amount of paint on them. It's roughly 100 grams of aluminum, which should be more than enough to fill up this mold and whatever we have left over will go into this mold. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this in case there's some dirt on it as it did come off of a scrapyard. And once it's clean, we should be ready to go ahead and start melting it down. If you have seen either of my last two investment casting videos, you will notice that I have a new metal melting furnace. And that is because I broke the last furnace I had. I will be making a new video soon about this furnace and about how I broke my last one. But for now, let's get to melting. This is the ingot we got from that pour. I would like to discuss a little bit about the pour and the product we got from it. I believe that the pour occurred at too low of a temperature, which is supported by a few things. One of them being that the aluminum started to harden before it even left the crucible. And this is something that you can see in the video of the pour. Secondly, if we look at the bottom surface of the ingot, where the aluminum was poured into first, specifically the edges, we can see that there is a very consistent radius around the edge of the bottom surface. 
And this should not be the case because the mold that I made this from has very sharp 90 degree edges on the bottom surface. We can see that right here, there is in fact a sharp edge like there should be everywhere else. I believe that this location where there is a sharp edge was where the aluminum was first poured into. I say this because when the aluminum was the hottest, when it was first poured in, it had the lowest surface tension and therefore the greatest capacity to flow into the corner and to make that 90 degree sharp edge. However, as the aluminum was poured and it cooled as it moved on from this point, the surface tension increased and the aluminum found it more difficult to flow into the corners, which is why we have a radius everywhere else. Secondly, we can see the surface is fairly flat near the point where the edge is sharp and that in other places, there are a few little craters where the surface is, is indented and a little bit more rough. Apart from that, the edges, the sides rather, are very smooth. I'm happy with the surface finish. There are not many bubbles on the sides apart from the bottom. And the top has a, a uh, kind of a characteristic finish for casting from what I can tell from my own research. It doesn't have the smooth finish like the sides where the graphite was up against it. Uh, but it does seem that there are no strange happenings on the top side of this ingot. Uh, you can see right here, there's a little point where I had stopped pouring the aluminum and it kind of had hardened before I had pulled it away a little bit. So there's a little bit of a mark there. Uh, but apart from those few things in the, the low temperature, I am happy with this. I made an ingot. It's my first ingot I have ever made. Uh, and hopefully my next one will be better with the information I've learned from this one. If you remember from early on in the video, I had measured the amount of aluminum I poured into the crucible before I had melted it, and that was 100 grams of aluminum. I will now weigh this ingot so we can see how much aluminum I got out of it and how much stayed in the crucible. Uh, however, that won't be exactly accurate because as you can see in the video of the pour, some of it did pour onto my table. So this ingot is 72 grams, which means we had a 72% yield. Uh, we didn't lose the aluminum that is not here. It's just inside of the crucible or on my table. And I, I can get it off my table and put it back into the crucible. Uh, so while this is not as much as I was hoping, it is still more than half of the aluminum I had put into the crucible. Uh, and we do have an ingot. It does seem to be fairly pure. There doesn't seem to be any slag or residual paint that was left over uh, from the, the tire. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and polish this up and kind of just keep it as a little, uh, a little memory of my first, my first ingot. So this is all of the aluminum that I did put into the crucible, but was not poured out during the pour. It was either left inside of the crucible and hardened there before it could come out, or some of it was poured onto the table by me on accident. And then there was also a little piece that was on the stirring rod, the graphite stirring rod. So this is the piece that was on the graphite stirring rod. This is the piece that I had accidentally dropped on my table. And this piece is what was left over in the crucible. It looks very cool. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and weigh these and we can uh, just verify that whatever wasn't in the crucible is here. This all should weigh 28 grams as the original total mass of aluminum that we put into the crucible was 100 and the ingot ended up weighing 72. All right, there we go, 28 grams. Everything is good in the world. We still have all of the aluminum we started with and conservation of mass is still a thing. I've learned a lot making my first ingot and I hope to take the things I've learned to improve the process. I'll be making a few more videos over the next few weeks about this process and the improvements I'm making to it, as well as a few other off-topic videos about various projects I have been working on. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your interest and I hope you have a great day. Bye.